when, when Ibrahim السلام, <coughs> made the call, when Allah subhanahu wa says, just call, make the event for the people to come. They say that the seeds inside the people that were there at that time on earth, that we were one of them. We heard it. We heard that call. And that's why we answered the call. And when it's time for you to answer, many people that want to Hajj, busy, they're busy. And they say, man, the time of Hajj came in, and subhanAllah, I don't know where I found the time. I find the time, uh, everything, subhanAllah, the time came off, I found the money and everything, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it so easy to come to Hajj. But the first thing is, of course, we have to make a niyyah. Because remember, there is nothing that we could do without the power and will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's, it's with la hawla wa la quwwatayna billah. Uh, even salah, when we get called for salah, the adhan, when they say hayya ala salah, come to pray, what do we say? We say la hawla wa la quwwatayna billah. You cannot come to pray without the quwwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, we can't do nothing without Allah. So, it doesn't matter how unbelievable it seems to you that this year you'll be going to Hajj. <coughs> it's with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't underestimate the power of Allah. Have the niya, want it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might, might make it easy for you to do it. And like I said, once you go, once you go, you cannot, you cannot not go back again. Because is subhanAllah, it is something that, that, that the experience of it, it's worth a lot more than what you pay for. And like it's, I always say, well, like they make it to $100,000 to go there. Even if they make it $100,000, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it happen for you. Allah, and you hear stories that people weren't even thinking of going two days before Hajj, and then suddenly, Subhanallah, they get into the plane and they go to, to Hajj. Subhanallah. Uh, it, it just don't underestimate the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you didn't do it, you have to do it. Uh, Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, uh, if he hears or he heard of something that had the money and the health and he didn't make Hajj, it says that he wouldn't pray for him. Because why? That's a fact. If you have the means, do it. Don't delay. Allah, in, in our community, a brother, a brother was delaying it, delaying it, delaying it, and then suddenly he had the, uh, 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 the, the kidney, uh, what was it, uh, dialysis, subhanAllah. Yeah, kidney failure. And he said, I was delaying it, and delaying it, and delaying it, subhanAllah, I can't go. And then, alhamdulillah, uh, somebody that, went in there, had the analysis as well, and he told him how to do it, and then as soon as he found out that he can do it, he jumped on the span of the ticket and he went, because there is there places for, as well, the people that have dialysis and, and, and do all that stuff. So it, it just, we had that myth in our mind that you only do it when you're old, or you only do it when you're married, and you only do it when you're, no, it's you do it when you can. You do it whenever you can. If you can do it at 20, do it at 20. If you can do it at 30, do it at 30, at 40, 50, it doesn't matter. They say no to like accumulate much sins and I'll do it by 60. And subhanAllah, where is that? Who, who guarantees that subhanAllah to live until 60 or until 50 or whatever? So once, once you have that chance and once you can do it, you can make it, Wallahi, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. If not, at least have the niya for it. As long as you have that, and something happens to you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might accept it from you. So, uh, brothers, it's, uh, it's an experience, and I would, uh, I would uh, wish it on everybody, on every Muslim to have that experience. And, uh, and uh, like, like I said, uh, if, if you do it, and it's, you do it the way it should be done, the, 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 the reward for it is Al-Jannah. Yes, it's a little bit of, of hardship, you go through a little bit of hardship, you go a little bit of sickness, a little bit of that. But alhamdulillah, that, that's part of it. And, uh, and, uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from all of us. Yes, I can hold on. Anyone else wants to share or should we... Uh...